Welcome to our comprehensive comparison of Go Web Frameworks. Today, we'll dive deep into two of the most popular frameworks in the Go ecosystem, Jin and Echo. Both frameworks have gained significant traction among developers for building high-performance web applications and APIs. Go, also known as Golang, has become increasingly popular for back-end development due to its simplicity, performance, and excellent concurrency support. When it comes to web development in Go, choosing the right framework can significantly impact your development experience and application performance. Throughout this tutorial, we'll explore the key differences, performance characteristics, and use cases for both Jin and Echo to help you make an informed decision for your next project. Let's start with the Jin framework, one of the most widely adopted web frameworks in the Go community. Jin is designed with performance as a top priority, boasting a high-performance HTTP router that achieves zero memory allocations during routing. This makes it incredibly fast and memory efficient. The framework provides built-in JSON validation and binding capabilities, which simplifies working with API requests and responses. Jin also comes with comprehensive middleware support for common tasks like logging, recovery, and cores handling. The code example shown demonstrates how simple it is to create a basic web server with Jin. You import the Jin package, create a default router instance, define a get endpoint that responds with JSON, and start the server. The syntax is clean and intuitive, making it easy for developers to get started quickly. Jin's minimalist approach means you get essential features without unnecessary bloat, resulting in faster compilation times and smaller binary sizes. Now let's explore the Echo framework, another powerful option for Go web development. Echo is designed to be high performance and extensible, offering a rich set of features out of the box. One of Echo's standout features is its optimized HTTP router with advanced middleware capabilities that go beyond basic routing. The framework provides built-in data binding and validation, similar to Jin, but with additional flexibility and customization options. Echo also supports template rendering with any template engine, making it suitable for building full-stack web applications, not just APIs. The code example demonstrates Echo's simple setup process. After importing the Echo package, you create a new Echo instance, define a route handler, and start the server with proper error handling using the logger. Echo's approach emphasizes extensibility and provides more built-in features compared to Jin, which can be beneficial for complex applications that require advanced functionality without additional third-party packages. Performance is a crucial factor when choosing a web framework. So let's examine how Jin and Echo compare in various metrics. In terms of requests per second, Jin slightly edges out Echo with approximately 74,000 requests per second compared to Echo's 71,000. This difference, while measurable, is relatively small and may not be significant for most applications. When it comes to memory usage, Jin demonstrates superior efficiency with only 12 megabytes of memory consumption compared to Echo's 14 megabytes. This lower memory footprint makes Jin particularly attractive for microservices and containerized environments where resource efficiency is important. Average latency shows similar results, with Jin achieving 0.8 milliseconds compared to Echo's 0.9 milliseconds. Both frameworks deliver excellent performance that far exceeds most application requirements. The binary size comparison shows Jin producing slightly smaller executables at 8.2 megabytes versus Echo's 9.1 megabytes. These performance differences are marginal, and both frameworks offer exceptional speed and efficiency for web applications. Let's examine the feature sets of both frameworks to understand their capabilities better. Both Jin and Echo provide excellent JSON binding functionality, allowing you to easily parse request bodies into GoStructs with automatic validation. Middleware support is robust in both frameworks, enabling you to implement cross-cutting concerns like authentication, logging, and request processing. However, there are some key differences to note. When it comes to template engines, Echo provides full built-in support for various template engines, while Jin offers basic template support that may require additional configuration for complex templating needs. 
Both frameworks support HTTP version 2, ensuring your applications can take advantage of the latest web protocols for improved performance. Built-in validation is available in both frameworks, making it easy to validate incoming data according to your application's requirements. A significant difference emerges with WebSocket support, where Echo provides built-in WebSocket capabilities, while Jin requires third-party packages for WebSocket functionality. Similarly, Echo includes automatic TLS support, which can simplify deployment and security configuration, while Jin requires additional setup for TLS features. Choosing between Jin and Echo depends largely on your project requirements and development goals. Jin is the ideal choice when you're building high-performance APIs where every millisecond and megabyte counts. Its minimal memory footprint makes it perfect for microservices architectures where you might be running multiple service instances. If you're developing simple RESTful services or need to create quick prototypes, Jin's straightforward approach and minimal setup requirements make it an excellent choice. The framework's simplicity also means faster learning curves for new team members and reduced complexity in your code base. On the other hand, Echo becomes the better choice when you're building full web applications that require template rendering capabilities. If your application needs WebSocket functionality for real-time features like chat systems or live updates, Echo's built-in support makes implementation much simpler. When security is a primary concern and you need built-in security features like automatic TLS, Echo provides more out-of-the-box solutions. Echo's rich middleware ecosystem is beneficial for applications that require extensive request processing, and its advanced routing capabilities make it suitable for complex applications with sophisticated URL patterns and routing requirements. Let's examine how to implement middleware and routing in both frameworks through practical examples. Middleware is essential for implementing cross-cutting concerns in web applications. In Jin, you can easily add cores middleware using the cores default function, which enables cross-origin requests for your API. The logger middleware provides automatic request logging, helping with debugging and monitoring. Jin's group routing feature allows you to organize related routes under a common prefix, such as API version 1, and apply middleware specifically to those routes. You can see how authentication middleware can be applied to the entire group, ensuring all routes in that group require proper authentication. The routing syntax is clean and intuitive, making it easy to define GET and POST endpoints for user management. Echo follows a similar pattern, but with slight syntactic differences. Echo's middleware system uses the same approach with cores and logger middleware, but the import path and function calls are framework-specific. The group routing functionality in Echo works similarly to Jin, allowing you to create route groups with shared middleware and path prefixes. Both frameworks make it straightforward to build scalable web applications with proper middleware organization and routing structure. As we conclude our comparison, let's review the best practices for developing with either framework. The most important step is to analyze your requirements first before choosing a framework. Consider factors like performance needs, feature requirements, team expertise, and long-term maintenance. Both frameworks benefit from effective middleware usage for handling cross-cutting concerns like authentication, logging, and request validation. Proper error handling strategies are crucial regardless of which framework you choose. Implement comprehensive error handling that provides meaningful feedback to clients while logging detailed information for debugging. Input validation should never be overlooked. Always validate and sanitize user input to prevent security vulnerabilities and ensure data integrity. Both Jin and Echo provide excellent tools for input validation, so make use of these built-in capabilities. Remember that both frameworks are excellent choices for Go web development, each with their own strengths and ideal use cases. Jin excels in scenarios requiring maximum performance and minimal resource usage, making it perfect for high-throughput APIs and microservices. Echo shines when building feature-rich web applications that need advanced routing, WebSocket support, and extensive middleware capabilities. The choice ultimately comes down to your specific project requirements, team preferences, and the type of application you're building.
If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.